if you've recently gained weight or if you have experienced a change in your body and you're feeling unhappy, you're feeling unworthy, you're feeling miserable, then this video is for you. Most people think that when it comes to feeling more confidence in your own skin and feeling more acceptance with your body, you have to change your physical appearance. You have to go on a diet, you have to exercise more or change up your exercise routine, and then you'll finally feel more acceptance for your body. But I know that you've probably done all of those things and you still don't feel confident in your own skin. So what are you supposed to do? In this video, I'm gonna teach you a proven tip that is going to revolutionize the way you feel in your body and create instant shifts. So I want you to make sure to stay all the way till the end because that's how you're going to actually feel the difference. For proven tools and resources and how to go from feeling insecure unworthy in your body image to confident in your own skin so that you can fully come in alive in your life. You can subscribe to my channel and you will be notified every week when I post a new video. As a body confidence coach, this is something I see so often and that I've struggled with myself. And I know firsthand what it's like to go through this experience of waking and feel like you don't want to leave the house. You are ashamed in your body. You feel all of those things and it just feels like nothing is going to work to create the changes that you want to experience. So all I'm asking you to do <clears throat> is to follow me in this technique where you're going to tap where I tap and you're going to repeat after me. It's essential to change your negative thoughts about yourself, your beliefs about your body in order to feel true confidence and to feel more acceptance for where you are with your body. Hating your body is only going to keep you stuck where you are and has a huge contribution to your body even being able to lose weight. When we are stuck in stress about our body, when we are stuck in feeling miserable, it activates our stress response, which actually increases our blood sugar levels. It increases cortisol. It actually downregulates our metabolism. So it slows it down and it makes it harder for us to even lose weight. And these are things that we're not taught. So without further ado, here's the tool. And as we begin here, what I want you to do is actually just close your eyes and take a moment to tune in on a scale of zero to 100. How unhappy are you with your body right now in this moment? Notice what feelings come up as I ask that question. Now I'll invite you to write that down, any other thoughts that are coming up for you as we move through this exercise. And it's important that you capture that number so that we can use it as we move through to track your progress. All right, so let's begin. Tapping where I tap and repeat after me, even though I'm so unhappy with my weight and the way my body looks, I would love to feel more acceptance for myself. Even though I'm so unhappy with my weight and the way my body looks, I love and accept who I am as a person. Even though I'm so unhappy with how my body looks, I'm ashamed of my body and this weight. I still love and accept myself. This weight gain, my body changing, I feel so unhappy with the way I look. I'm so disappointed. I feel so ashamed and disgusted. I'm so uncomfortable in my body, it affects everything that I do. I don't even want to go outside. I don't want to go to social events. I don't want to be romantic or intimate because I just hate how my body looks.
all of this hate, all this disappointment towards my body, all of this hate and disappointment towards my body. I hate the way my body looks. I'm ashamed. I feel disgusting. Okay, so just close your eyes, take a nice easy breath. And just notice on a scale of 0 to 100, how unhappy are you with your body now? You may notice some subtle shifts coming through in the energy. Perhaps you feel less intensity in the unhappiness towards your body. What we're doing with this technique and the reason why we're giving voice to these negative thoughts is that this technique takes power away from those negative thoughts. It brings more peace. It brings more ease. It brings everything that you're looking for so that you can actually live your life. When these negative feelings take over, there's not much that we're capable of doing because we completely shut down. So let's continue into round two. So you're going to take the number that you just wrote down and how unhappy you feel in your body right now. And we're going to keep tracking this as we progress. Even though I still feel really unhappy with the way my body looks, I love and accept myself. Even though part of me still feels so judgmental to way, towards the way my body looks. I love and accept myself. Even though it doesn't feel possible to let go of this criticism and hate towards my body. I don't deserve to let go of these negative feelings towards my body. I still love and accept myself. It's not possible for me to let go of this hate towards my body. I have to keep holding on to all this hate and judgment. I don't deserve to let it go. I have to keep feeling miserable and unhappy. Because that's how society taught me to feel in this body. Or my family. I just have to keep punishing myself and my body with all of this negativity and hatred. I refuse to let it go. Only good things come from hating my body and shaming myself. Really positive outcomes come from me hating my body, filling it with judgment and disgust. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep hating this body. That's what I have to do. It's not possible for me to let go of even an ounce of this hatred towards myself and my body. That's just not possible. And you're certainly not gonna make me feel any more acceptance towards myself as a person or this body. I have to live in this hatred for the rest of my life. So just take a nice, easy breath. Notice what you're aware of in this moment. Witness those feelings, those thoughts. 
And on a scale of zero to 100, how unhappy are you with your body in this moment? Notice what's happening to that number, what shifts you're witnessing. It's likely that you are starting to hear another voice come through. That voice might be saying things like, no, I don't need to live with this hatred for the rest of my life or showing you how this hatred isn't supporting you. <clears throat> if you don't hear any positive shifts, any cognitive shifts coming through, then I encourage you to go back and repeat that last round, what shifts you're witnessing. And if you do hear some of that voice coming through, which is the voice of your true self, that means that we are taking power away from those negative thoughts, we're weakening them, and we're strengthening the truth of who you are, the essence of who you are, your true self, your self-worth, your confidence, that's all rising up. So we're going to move into the final round here, and we're really going to bring this all together and make you feel even more confident. So even though part of me still feels unhappy with the way my body looks, my weight specifically. I'm learning how to love and accept this suffering part of me. Even though part of me still feels really judgmental towards my body and isn't happy with the way I look or my weight I hear this other part of me coming forward. This part that has love and compassion for my body and myself. And I'm opening the door to welcoming more of that part of me to come forward. Yes. Part of me still judges my body, wishes I could lose some weight. But another part of me is working on healing my relationship to my body. This other part of me is welcoming forgiveness and compassion to my body. everything my body's been through. This other part of me knows that my body will flourish with more love and compassion. And that hate and judgment isn't going to produce any healthy change for my body. Yes, part of me still judges my body and wishes that my weight could be different. And this part learned all those judgmental thoughts. I'm learning how to have compassion for this suffering part of me. And I'm opening the door to this other loving part of me who is bringing forgiveness, compassion, love, and is supporting me to grow my confidence each and every day. learning how to have love and acceptance for myself in this moment today. And not need things to change physically. To feel the truth, the true radiance of who I am. Maybe just placing one or both hands on your heart center 
Noticing how you feel in this moment and what you're aware of now. Beautiful work. I'm so proud of you. I'd love to know how you're feeling in the comments below. I promise you, if you repeat this exercise, you will experience true miracles. This is the exact work you need to be doing to transform your relationship with your body, your weight, your confidence, and most importantly, your life. And if you'd love to learn exactly where you're getting stuck, where your blocks are, and how to instantly achieve the confidence that you're looking for, how to fully come alive in your life and no longer struggle with your body, food, and your weight, I offer complimentary one-on-one -on -one body confidence calls. The links are below and I would love to connect with you. Sending you so much love and see you again next week.